Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my second part, or I guess like the second palette by Bad Habit out of their After Palette collection. I just like dropped it, sorry. So this is the After Dark palette, and the last video I did the After Hours palette for you, which might be a little confusing because they do look extremely like, I think they are exactly the same on the packaging on the outside. Let me grab the After Hours palette so I can show you. So here's After Hours and then here's After Dark. So the packaging is exactly the same. It's just the words that are different and then the colors that are different. Anyways, so today we're going to be doing a eye makeup tutorial with the After Dark palette and getting to play out with it. I haven't got to touch this one or the other two that I haven't made videos on yet. So I'm really, really excited to finally be able to get into this one. And these cost $10 a piece, but you can buy all four for $30, which is really awesome. And if you download Shop Hush's app, then you always get free shipping on everything. And every day you log in, you can collect 10 cents and you can use those for your purchases to take a little bit of money off of your purchases, which is awesome. So definitely download the app and check out these palettes if they interest you. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just jump in, slider out. And this is what it looks like. Of course, it's got the nine shade names on the back. And then on the inside, it looks like this. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. And I think that this is a dupe for the Gold Obsessions palette by Huda Beauty. So, yeah. And then the last one was the Mob Obsession. So, if you guys do want to check out the other video for the After Hours palette, then make sure you do check that out. But... So these colors are super, super pretty. Um, let's just jump right in. Okay guys, so I went ahead and primed my eyelids real quick so we can just go ahead and jump into the palette. The first shade we're gonna dip into is this really pretty orangey shade up here, which is called Cheeky. And I'm just gonna take my Elizabeth Mott blending brush, dip it in there. The only bad thing about these palettes is they do have a lot of fallout, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. That's why you guys will probably see me like blowing my palette. But then just tap off excess, and we'll just go in. Oh wow, so this is very pigmented. Um, it's blending super easily. If you guys can see that, like, it's blending like a dream. And this color is extremely, extremely gorgeous. Super pigmented and pretty. Wow, I really like it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm just kind of blending it back and forth in the crease using circular motions to blend the color out and to kind of diffuse it. And then I'll go back and forth to transfer the color. I think that looks really awesome. Okay, the next shade we're gonna dip into is going to be Crush On Me, which is like a really bright, ready orange, I would say. It's really pretty. And I'm just gonna go in with the Eco Tools Defined Crease Brush, and I'm just gonna kinda dip it in there. And this is gonna really brighten this look up I could tell Ooh. let's go ahead and do a halo eye why not let's just do a halo eye so taking it in all the way to the inner crease with this brush this brush is like literally the magic wand for doing um, halo eyes if you guys don't have this brush and like you're having really trouble doing it it's because it's like a pointed blending brush so it really just defines where it's going and it's not gonna push it all over the place so you really have control over where it goes so if you have a trouble if if you're having trouble with your halos then I would suggest you know trying to use a different brush maybe that is your problem I 
just using this to blend out that color. That is super, super pretty, super bright and pigmented, and it blended really nicely. So, really like that shade. I want to take Slip Dress in there as well, so I'm just going to go in with the same brush and just kind of blend this in there, just to kind of mute down that red. Super pretty. I know it looks like crazy right now, but I promise this is not what it's going to look like forever. It's going to be blended. I promise. I promise. Lee, I'm going to take this shade. This one's called Arousal. I love these names. Like, I literally say this every time, but I think Bad Habit has, like, the cutest little names for their palettes. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop this right here in the outer corner. darken it up and then I'm gonna take it on the inner corner as well after I get this how I want it to be I'm gonna pop it right in there and you can kind of connect them too but I'll just save that for when I blend and then you're gonna go on the other eye and do the same thing, just blend out that brown in the outer V and then blend it out in the inner corner as well. I know you guys are like, girl, what you doing right now? Well, now we're about to blend, <laughs> promise. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with, this is a BS Mal blending brush. I know I talk about these BS Mal brushes all the time. They are off Amazon. I just wanted to make that clear. So if you look for the BS Mal brushes set on Amazon, you will surely be able to find them really easily. You get like 20 brushes or so for like 12 bucks. So And they're pretty great brushes. So I just thought I would pop that in there real quick. But now we're going to blend. So let's go back. And I'm just going to take this brush and just start blending out in circular motions. This is going to diffuse that color and not make it so harsh and like, what the hell is going on? Did you just get punched in the eye? You know? This is going to connect everything and give it a nice smoked out look. So you can see the difference already. This is the side that's already been kind of blended and then this is the side that hasn't. So definitely a huge difference. So we're going to go on this side and start working on blending this out. Alright guys, so that is a little bit blended out. I'm going to blend more, trust me, but it already is looking 10 times better. So now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to clean up some of this crease so that I can pop some shine onto it. So I'm using the MAC 195 brush and I'm just going to pop the concealer like right down in the middle of my eye. And I'm going to use this brush to blend it. Okay. Alright, and then I'm gonna just do the other side real quick as well.
Okay, and so once the concealer's on, then you're just gonna wanna set that concealer. So I'm just using the Laura Mercier little translucent powder sample that I have. This is like what I always use to set my eyes. Just pressing that on there. All right, and then the only shimmer shade that comes in this palette is this one right here in the middle, and it's called 24 Karat, a 24 Karat Gold. And we're gonna pop that right onto that concealer we just placed down. And I'm gonna use my Luxie 239 Precision Shader Brush. And, yeah. I don't want to use any spray or MAC Fix Plus or anything like that because I wanna see the full potential of this shadow without it. You're popping it on. And then doing the same thing on the other eye. This is really pretty so far. It's not like in your face bright but definitely really gorgeous and I want to see what it does if I do spray the brush so this is a setting spray I've been using lately this is the makeup setting spray by J cats and it's got aloe vera in it which is really really good for your skin and I'm just spraying the brush and then I'm just gonna go in oh yeah that definitely helped but I mean with any shadow really if you add water it's gonna make it better All right, so that's already super gorgeous. So the very last thing I'm gonna do is just take this shade right here, it's called Swipe Right. It's just a nice powdery bone shade. And I'm just gonna take that on another blending brush and just blend that right up in here in the crease. And this is really gonna help diffuse any harshness. You see how like much better it looks like I don't know if you can tell but it just kind of helps blend out everything up there towards the top so there's no harsh lines or you know grossness and you don't have to go in with like a lot just go in with a little bit and then just blend Right, guys so that is the completed eyeshadow look so I'm just gonna pop some um, eyeliner and some falsies on real quick and then I will pop right back and let you guys know what I thought about the palette all right everybody so my um, eyeliner and my falsies are on now and I'm gonna bring you my final thoughts on the after dark bad habit palette so I really really liked it the shades are super blendable super pigmented as you guys could see and super fun my only thing about this palette is I wish it has I wish it had more um, shimmer shades in it, like apparent, like a, maybe a lighter one than this one, so that I could highlight and stuff. But I mean, otherwise, it's a really fun palette and super gorgeous. I think this would be a really good palette for anyone who's a beginner or just starting off and is just really into those golds and stuff. This would definitely be the palette for you. Um, but so far, After Hours is still my favorite. Um, this one, eh, okay. I'm just more into like the rosy tones and stuff and. Um, I really like it. So that's two palettes down and two more to go. So we still have the after party and the aftershock palette to do. So let me guys So let me know in the comments down below which one you want me to do next, the aftershock or the after party, and I will <laughs> drop them and I will try to make that video as soon as I possibly can for you guys. If you guys liked this makeup tutorial and you want to see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe for more videos. I try to put up two to three videos a week and I do like unboxings and beauty videos and stuff like that. And also again comment down below which palette you want me to do next and comment anything else that you want to comment. I always try to reply to you guys because I absolutely love talking to all of you and thank you for watching my videos.
and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye guys.